Welcome back to the Left Brain Intuition Podcast. That special place where we talk about logic and intuition. My name is Elise Lebeau, I'm the Left Brain Intuitive, and today I'm telling you a joke. So three fears and a habit walk into a bar. So the bartender says to the first fear, hey, what's your name? And she says, my name is, this is not going to work. And she orders a pastis. Pastis is a French drink and the bartender pours it and then adds water to it and the drink becomes cloudy. It's a chemical reaction from adding water to the alcohol. Fear number two, the bartender says, hey, what's your name? And she says, my name is, this is going to be hard. And she orders a pint of olive oil and a shot of a freshly squeezed lemon that she pours into the olive oil. And she's going to try to drink that while keeping a smile on her face. Bartender says to the third fear, and what's your name? And she says, my name is, this is going to be scary. And she orders a flaming Sambuca, which is served on fire <laughs> to caramelize the coffee beans that are in the drink. And she's wondering how she's going to drink that. And then habit pays for everybody's drink. Now, in my career as a professional intuitive, there's one thing that really has broken my heart so many times, is when I see really, really big problems that have caused a lot of pain emotionally or physically or mentally or spiritually. And the root cause was really just habit. It was just done this way because it's always been done this way. So maybe you're used to not feeling good about something. You don't think it's going to work, but you do it anyway. Or maybe you're used to doing things that you think are going to be hard and unpleasant, and you do them anyway. Or you're used to doing things that scare the bejesus out of you, and you do them anyway. And habits pays for everybody's drink. Now what happened if habit can't pay? Habit's credit card has been cut off by the bartender and habit cannot pay. And then the three fears get thrown out of the bar. What drink would you actually order? Would you order like a super fun drink with a little umbrella that tastes really good to you? That tastes like clarity. Where you have doubts and you're not sure sometimes and you have problems that come up, but you always ask your intuition, why? Why is this happening? You get clarity and now your drink is clear. Would you order a drink that always comes with a little umbrella of opportunity that is not accessible to your logical mind? This umbrella is only what comes with this particular drink. And would you order a drink that you know will always come 50% faster than any other drink on the menu? That's the express lane. That's an intuitive drink. It's a drink that always tastes good because fundamentally the way the intuitive compass works, even if you don't get like a fully formed intuitive hint in your mind, if you don't know how to do that, that's fine. Because the intuitive compass says if you're thinking or doing or saying something that is aligned with what you want in your heart of hearts, it will feel better. It will feel better. So your drink will taste better if you keep paying attention to how you feel. And when you feel super extra crappy, you look for something that feels better than super extra crappy. And when you feel okay, you look for something that feels a little bit better than just okay. And when you feel inspired and curious and excited and eager, you know that you're going full spin in the right direction and that the bartender has served you the awesome drink that you've always wanted to drink <laughs> with the nice little umbrella and it came super fast. And it was very clear that this is your favorite drink. My goal here, and that's why I talk about intuition every day, is to entice you somehow to drink that drink. To cut off the credit card of habit and not let it pay for the three fears that have been plaguing you, that have been in the way of you even trying 
to get an intuitive insight. Because I feel that the goal, the reward, the joy, the growth is totally worth getting rid of a habit so that it can stop enabling things that are not good for you. All right, that was the punchline of my joke. I hope you liked it, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>